Q103, it's Styles joined by Phil on Salmo. Congratulations first and foremost to you, brother. Exciting week for you. Uh, debut of your solo album, Walk Through Exits Only. Thank you, brother. Thank you very much. Um, now, I got to ask, man. I mean, you've had Pantera, you've had Down, Super Joint Ritual. Why now a solo album from you uh, as compared to any other time? Well, um, not to answer a question with a question, but, <laughs> you know, my thing is why not? You know, it's like. Uh, Really, my only two active bands that uh, I tour with and really record with, like myself, you know, uh, these days are down and, and, and the solo band, so there's time for both. Now, uh, when you were putting this all together, um, was there like a vision in your head of what you wanted it to sound like? Because uh, last night I'm sitting there, I'm listening to the album, and, and uh, even just looking at the press release for calling it an abrasive, aggressive album that is uh, as unrestrained as it gets. Gotta tell you what, f***ing great record, brother. Uh, just wanted to screw around with song arrangements and and and, and sounds in general and, and timing in general man i, I wanted uh, a different record so to speak uh uh something different than you, your traditional song but if you look real closely uh it's the type of record that one listen, two listens, you know, it, it's not going to do it. You know, you got to listen up, uh, several times over before you really start grasping the, the, the song structure and whatnot. So it's a, it's, a, it's a tough listen. I get this. But honestly, that's uh, really what I was trying to do. So mission accomplished there. And needless to say there, man. So the writing process, was it just mostly you writing it, or did you have the other guys in the illegals with you just kind of helping out and putting the pieces together? I, I actually wrote the ground, uh, pardon me, wrote the songs from the ground up, but I wanted the musicians that played to definitely uh, get their fingerprints all over it, make sure that they left their mark, because my guitar player is excellent, he's multifaceted, uh, the drumming, uh, Jose from War Beast is, is great, uh, especially with his feet, and I just really, uh, I needed tight bass, and then, and, and, uh, you know, let these guys shine. Walk through exits only. The brand new album from Phil Ansamo and the Illegals. It's out now. Eight songs in this record, man. Was that like a conscious effort to kind of make like a classic uh, type of rock record? Because I mean, you look at bands like uh, Sabbath, for instance. Um, they used to only put like seven, eight songs, and not where it seems to be. Most cases today, you're talking most bands are putting like thirteen to eighteen songs on a record. Ah, uh, you know, it, we we wrote, or honestly, uh, the best way to put it is. At the end of the day, at the end of the sessions, we had about 15, 16 songs to choose from. So uh, for me, I thought, in my opinion, I, I, I felt like the eight songs that actually ended up on Walk Through Exits fit the best together. So that's really, uh, that's the science behind it. And uh, other than that, you know, yeah, everything else is pretty much a coincidence, so to speak. <laughs> well, man, I, you know, I'm sitting here reading some of the lyrics, and I got to tell you what, you're a hell of a lyricist. I've always been a fan of you since back in Pantera. Um, I'm looking at like media, uh, music media is my horror. Uh, paraphrasing some of the lines here, you know, flush the format format back into the sewer. Um, this is not music. Regurgitation is boring. Emulation is death. Um, you, you a little bit mad at the music industry right now, kind of like the direction it's going in? Oh, you know, man. I... <laughs> There's one thing about this record that that uh, may differ from other records or other lyrics I've written. You know that there is a great amount of sarcasm. There's a great amount of tongue in cheek, whatnot. I think, uh, honestly, in my world, man, I'm not a mainstream type guy at all. You know, uh, I think there is a fantastic pulse within the underground and as long as there is underground music there is absolute prosperity so to speak so uh, you know as far as me being upset with uh, the music business or whatever uh, it's it's um, uh, 
maybe a little bit of truth to it, but also a, a lot of, once again, tongue-in-cheek, you know. I got you. Now, this new album you're putting out uh, through your own label, so it's all you at the end of the day. Um, is that put extra stress on you, just getting it out to the masses and making sure people hear it? Well, you know, it's always a, a somewhat of a struggle, but really, uh, I, I don't take the pressure and uh, use it in a negative way anymore it's like you know the more pressure that that's just uh, all in a day's work so bring it on you know mm -hmm. well the brand new album walk through x it's out now you're going to be hitting the road for the technicians of destruction tour that kicks off July technicians of distortion technicians yeah i'm reading it backwards i'm dyslexic <laughs> you crazy fool you <laughs> well in any case you're hitting the road july 31st um we're gonna have you here in upstate new york at uh the uh, upstate concert hall in clifton park August uh, 14th. Now, you're out with the band, with your band, The Illegals. You got War Beast with you on this show. Um, for somebody buying a ticket to see Phil on Samba, what are they getting when they come to see you live? Is it going to be mostly just uh, this new record or a combo of all your past stuff mixed in with it? Well, there's also another guy on the bill called Author and Punisher. So I suggest everybody get out there early because that is going to be a spectacle within itself. And of course, I want people there for War Beast. But as far as tricks and whistles go, you know, put it this way. We have, uh, in my, uh, we have some surprises. That's all I'll say. There's okay. definitely uh, perhaps some blasts from the past and, and maybe some uh, of my favorite songs growing up. So you never know. I, I want every show to be a little different to have uh, its own personality, and and uh, I guess you're going to have to come out to the show to figure it all out. No, I'll definitely see you August 14th, Upstate Concert Hall, for sure. You play in, what, like an hour, hour and a half? Like, Do you have an idea of what your set times are going to be? Or just yeah, gonna you know, an hour, hour and a half, or however long it takes. You know, <laughs> it, 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 uh, Like I said, each night's going to be different. And uh, please, uh, everybody, come on out to the show. Let's have let's have a blast, man. Talking with Phil Ansamo, Walk Through X. It's the new album out now. It is Styles Q103. Um, I'm going to direct real quick to Pantera and not ask anything like the typical questions you get about the band because I'm sure at this point, and this is what my question is going to be, are you at this point? Because I I seem to notice like a lot. It's it, these days you get asked about the band, and I understand you know it was a huge part of your history um, and your career, and it's a huge part for a lot of metal fans, just the band in general. But at this point, are you kind of, lack of better terms here, sick of having to answer questions about the band constantly and reunions and making peace and what have you? No, not at all. Not at all. I think Pantera fans are the greatest on earth. And, uh, you know, anybody that wants to ask questions about Pantera, I have no problem with that at all. It's 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 a great, like you had mentioned, it, it, it's a great part of my history, it's probably the most identifiable portion of my career. So uh, I'm an open book, man, and, and I don't mind at all. All right, well, cool. Well, we'll be looking forward to August 14th. I'm sure you'll be getting asked a lot of questions at Upstate Concert Hall. Uh, to wrap things up here, um, you got the uh, the Housecore Horror Film and Music Festival launching this October in Austin, Texas. Uh, what can you tell me about that? Man, uh, it's going to be a blast. we got some awesome bands. We have uh, great films and great, great characters uh, coming out. Uh, directors and, and personalities. Coffin Joe from Brazil. George Butkerite from Germany. Uh, America's own Jim Van Bever. And um, uh, a lot of other people coming out. But, you know, one of the most... Uh, Intriguing, and and one of my favorite things about this this horror fest is uh, receiving submissions from lesser known directors of horror. Because honestly, man, whether it be a short film or full length, you know, there's some people out there that are really, really taking care with the horror business, and they and they're, they're trying to. Uh, defeat regurgitation. They're trying to knock off uh, what everything what you've seen before with something original. So for me, that's a uh, very very exciting to be able to turn on a new audience to new directors. So I'm looking forward to that big time. Now, obviously, you're a fan of horror films. What kind of like genre are you into? Are you into like uh, the scarier stuff of like the Friday the Thirteenth and the Freddy Kruegers, or are you more of like an indie type of guy, like back in the old days of Evil Dead and what have you? 
you know, just like music, I go through phases with movies and, and, and eras. So like, uh, right now, for me, uh, huh, I'm really going through uh, late 60s, early 70s television, made-for-TV horror type stuff right now <laughs> so man i got you know it, it, it all depends but look my love for horror goes back uh, to the early 1900s to uh, you know some of the stuff all the way up to, to, to the present so i'm uh you know uh, my bit of uh, take on horror my love of horror it, it spans through decades so you know i can't pick a, a particular favorite but really uh I'm into a lot of stuff, black and white, color, you name it. I'm, I'm into it. Well, cool, man. It's it's kind of cool to see a true fan of the genre really uh, put forth a festival for it, the House Core Horror Film and Music Festival coming up in Austin in October and, you know, giving the shot to those uh, lesser known directors. So you got a lot going on, man. And we covered everything from your uh, your new album, the tour, the festivals. Is there anything else you got going on or possibly in the works coming up? Man, I've got so much crap going on and uh it'll all pretty much reveal itself here in the next few months uh the next uh, the rest of this year and well into next year so you'll be uh hearing from the kid <laughs> quite a bit here in the uh upcoming future there you go phil ensemble brand new album with the illegals called walk through exits only out now august 14th upstate concert hall be there live uh phil thank you so much for the time brother always a pleasure to talk to you and uh, i'll definitely see you coming up in august at the uh, at the show all right big brother thanks for the plugs thanks for all the, the support and uh, lastly just everybody thank you for listening uh, keep supporting the radio station and and, and come on out to the show we're gonna have from time <laughs> as only phil can put it thank you so much brother all right big daddy take it easy everybody